I haven't like vlogged in a long long minute and today I'm out of the house right but it's because on Friday I was at church and I forgot my phone like the word was that good I forgot my phone so now I had a reason to actually get out of my house on Saturday and it's a beautiful day like it's so sunny and stuff so I'm not trying to go home so I'm actually going to film my Kenyan tours if you don't know what that is let's plug follow my Instagram and go watch that series it's a bit dope we're going to Hollywood and honestly I'm just gonna have such a blessed day I'm just excited for what God has planned for me for the rest of the day the pain of seeing your bus like pass in front of you my bus just literally passed me but like it's a bit far and there's no need to run <gasps> Do I, I think I can catch it can I catch it? no it's gone you know, maybe I wasn't supposed to take that one. Maybe there's a serial killer on that bus who's gonna follow me to wherever I'm going. That's how I cope with all the buses I miss because it's hectic out here waiting for buses, not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, I'll wait for the next one. I wish you knew how I'm loving Ira so much right now. Like, I love Ira Star so much. I don't know why, like, I've been getting high off her music lately. But no, I know why, because her music is, her music is, oh. I'm a bit black right now. The song I suck in my head right now is um, Toxic. It goes like this. <coughs> Why did you make me to do it? What is it? I'm lose it. I thought you loved Oh, it's love, oh, it's love. Why did you make me to do it? Not much, not much. So me, I finessed myself. I thought the train station was going to be free. And I'm not trying to pay. So I'm just going to enter behind this guy. Finesse the system. We have no place for these trains. These trains don't even have like servers. I'm about to waste money. Your girl is in Hollywood right now. She is glowing. And I actually filmed a vlog of the first time I was in Hollywood, but like I never posted it because I never liked it. But anyways, the first time I was here, I walked up like I got out of the train station, right? And then I was expecting this like oh like that angel background music but like it's not like I don't know why I was expecting for like Jesus to walk on the on the stars or something but it's pretty cool like there are apparently like 250 stars I only know three people I think I only know Shania, Shania Twain and 50 Cent but literally all the way down the whole the stars continue like I'm even and like I'm even on a sidewalk right now that has all the stars and it continues all the way down it's, it's huge like even inside like if you go that way inside the stars are in there too so it's, it's really really huge now we're heading to wendy's and i'm still continuing to film my kenyan tours and then after that i'll just be vlogging and stuff i unfortunately missed the bus again but the next one was coming again a serial killer might have been in that bus i was trying to catch and i actually am kind of hungry so that's why this kenyan tour is just like works at times because i always film when i'm hungry and i'm like about to eat i should show you my fit before i eat because i'm about to get bloated let me show you okay this is it we have our jewelry why is my eyes misbehaving let me fix the situation we have a little black dress Wait, I have to be in the sun to show you properly. Okay, yeah. And then I'm just wearing like black bands. It's just a little simple outfit. Just a little simple outfit. Not too much, not too much. You know, I'm not trying to, you know, like make people blind with my beauty. That was so cliche. But it's facts. You can't see me. You probably also can't hear me because it's really, really loud. Um, but, you know, we move. Just continue looking at me and admiring me if you want. Right now I'm at Wendy's. Um, not gonna lie. Okay, no, I'm not gonna say that. Yeah, yeah. If you wanna know how the food is, you have to go watch my Kenyan tours on my Instagram or my TikTok. For some reason, whenever I go out, I always feel like I'm in a rush, like all the time, and I always try to finish the food that I order. Like I always try to finish the food. Like it doesn't matter if I'm hungry or I'm full. I always try to finish what I order. If you know me, you know my stomach is like half the size of my hand. Like I literally have stomach the size of a three-month-old head's baby. No, wait, did I say that right? Of a three-month-old baby's head. Like my stomach is so tiny, and I can't finish all the food I always whatever. I finish half my burger and half the fries. It's not even like that much food, but like now I know I. I don't need to finish all this i don't even know what i'm saying and i'm also like not rushing honestly i'm so glad that i left my phone at church because i actually got out of the house at an early time like i had motivation to leave the house at an early time and that's another thing like that's why i always rush right because i leave late and then i feel like i have no time to do all of the things that i want to do like explore and stuff so i'm so glad i left my phone because i woke up <laughs> i woke up so early to get my phone <laughs> 
if you don't understand when i lost my phone like i have never had that type of like anxiety and stress as in being apart from my phone it's actually so sad i when i was apart from my phone i was so sad i felt like half of me was missing i felt so depressed but i literally thought my life was going to end but like it makes sense though because my phone is my life like, literally like i use my phone for everything like what am i without my phone that's probably a very toxic mentality but it's facts that's basically what i have in my head when i'm not speaking that's how i overthink so i put my thoughts into words right now um, yeah i don't know where we're going to go after this let me try to create memories today that's the vibe let's see if i can even get a tattoo today i saw many tattoo shops i'm trying to get a tattoo but anyways i feel like right now i'm eating because i'm bored not because i'm hungry see you when i see you wherever i'm gonna be so i'm in ross right now right and like I wasn't even planning to come in here but Ross is it bro everything is so affordable and honestly like when I think Ross I never thought like it would look so high-end but everything is like so so cheap where have you been all my life like literally so like the price difference I, I'm assuming like the original at the actual store is $32 but at Ross they sell it for like eight dollars like bro it's still expensive it's still quite expensive i know i can get these for cheaper but ross is wow like i think i'm just gonna have like a whole day where i just literally just go to different stores to just thrift because ross is it like i just saw this and i wasn't even gonna get a shopping cart but look look at me i honestly thought this would be like a cool 300 dollars. this is 24 dollars. look at how gorgeous that is look at my sis lupita Look at this, she is so fire. You know, actually, I always see these cards. And then, like, it looks it looks like something I'd never, ever buy. But honestly, coming up close, it's sexy as hell. This is on my bucket list. What kind of car is this? It's a Cadillac. Oh, this is what a Cadillac is. Oh, okay, I see you. I'm literally only in this store for the music. $89 bro, $89 for half a jacket, that's my cue to leave Bro, I just got into a store right, so all sweatshirts are $10 and everything else is $5 I'm thinking of getting this bucket hat, what do you think? I always think like my head is too big for bucket hats but this could low key be a look right? Right? Getting ready for summer, I'll probably need this a lot for summer Have my shades on and this white hoodie as well, it just makes sense Should I get it? For sure I'm getting the hat though Even the perfect I definitely have to find like my summer scent. Oh, that's fire, that's fire. There's like certain perfumes that smell like toilet perfume. This is cute. Look at the packaging. It smells like a toxic man. That's not the vibe we're going for. Honestly, I think I found it. I think we're going for this one. It looks like this. This is gonna be my scent, guys. So I'm actually going to gatekeep. I am not going to advertise where I just came from because that's my spot. All right, y'all. So I just met the greg donovan and uh, Gino, Gino. okay okay Gino. he's They're my bodyguard <laughs> all right hi sylvia welcome to la <laughs> sylvia Where? welcome to hollywood you have arrived Woo! Jumbo. Okay. You rock, girl. I feel like wearing my bucket hat because it just makes sense. Like honestly, I thought I'd never look good wearing this, but low key. Oh, but my edges, I just ruined my edges. And now I'm going to a Hollywood tour van, but honestly, like I've never wanted to go to one because they're so freaking expensive. Like they're all fifty dollars, sixty dollars. But this guy, he was like, you cute. I'm gonna give you a little discount. I'm excited. Oh my god. Like this is, I haven't done such a touristy thing in so long, and I'm having the time of my life. We're on the tour bus now. The Jimmy Kimmel studio is where like I picked up this bus, which is pretty cool. Like one of the buildings he owns is where I picked up this bus. But yeah, let's get this show on the road. Bought this house back in 2017 for 25 and a half million dollars. It's a nine bedroom, eight bathroom mansion. It has three living rooms and a library and an attached guest house. And it sits on a half acre property of land. I finished the tour and I'm not gonna lie, like it was fire. You know, I thought Beverly Hills was where like all celebrities live, right? But there's places like Laurel Hills, Summit, Summit Hills, or the Summit or something. And then I saw like Uno Mars's former house, Gal Gadot, the Wonder Woman's former house. Actually, no, Wonder Woman still lives in there, like her actual house. I also saw Serena Williams's house, and I also learned 
that her husband created Reddit, bro. I did not know that. I did not know that. Who else? I saw Justin Bieber's house, his former house, but apparently he was kicked out of it in 2017 because drama. Oh, Michael Jackson's house. Like I saw the balcony where um, he dangled the bait. Wow. Like I didn't even think I was going to do this, but today has been such an amazing day. I don't know what else I'm going to do. I'm a bit sad that the day's ending. Uh, I don't know if I'm going home. If I am, you'll find out in the next clip. This is crazy. I like it. It makes me, it just makes you feel good just to have it. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. So I just walked out of a store and it's, it's a store that has all the original props like the dinosaurs and the actual Batman suit like that was in the actual Batman movie so that was dope as hell I basically was in the same room as Ben Affleck is that the guy who did Batman? I'm pretty sure but that was dope as hell dope as hell We are back in downtown LA I'm waiting for my bus I have my 